Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that has directly impacted me all my life and maybe it has impacted some of you guys, I'm not sure, but I felt like I wanted to make a video on it because we are coming up to the holidays and I know that growing up this was kind of like the time where this would impact me the most. So I wanted to talk to you guys about family who fat shames. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my family to death. I come from a huge Italian family, so I don't want you guys to think that like my family is the most awful people in the world, like they don't, you know, none of that is true. It's just, you know, they feel a certain type of way about being fat and they don't, I don't want to say support it, but they don't agree with it and whatever. It's just that's how it's always been. But I just wanted to like throw in a little disclaimer, like my family loves me, I love them, they're very caring people, very generous. I'm going to be talking a lot about my grandmother in this video and she honestly is one of the greatest women that I know. She passed away two years ago, but she was one of the most amazing women I've ever known. So generous, so thoughtful, so caring, so loving. She would do anything for anyone. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm like coming on here to bash my family because that's not the case at all. If I get a little emotional in this video, I apologize. This is just something that I have dealt with my entire life and greatly has affected my self-esteem growing up. I've always been a heavier girl. I've always been a bigger girl. I was a big child. I am a big adult. Like, it is what it is. My mom is plus size. So from a very early age, I always remember going to like my grandmother's house my mom's side of the family and since we're Italian there was always a whole bunch of food out and there was always big parties and gatherings, everyone was eating and drinking and everything else. So I, like I said, I've always been a bigger child and I've always been fat shamed by my family and growing up I never really knew what that was. I would hear things like, do you really need to be eating that? Or Gabriella, you know that's not good for you, stop eating that, you should be eating salad, you should be eating vegetables. and it was only to me. All my other cousins are thin and beautiful and you know they could eat whatever they wanted, drink whatever they wanted, no one would say anything. So it was basically just because I was fat and people would want to monitor what I was eating. It started as early as I can remember, four years old. And then I remember going shopping and we would go down to see my grandmother, me and my mom, and my Nana always would love to go shopping and you know that's always great and fine and fun but I always had a little bit of anxiety because I would feel embarrassed that I couldn't fit into the same things that my cousins were fitting into and I couldn't shop at the same stores and so she would my Nana's favorite store was Lord and Taylor so we would go to Lord and Taylor and I just remember her picking things out for me and would go and bring them to the dressing room and I would go in the dressing room and I would just sit there and cry hysterically in the dressing room because nothing was fitting and I felt ashamed and embarrassed and I didn't want my grandmother to be disappointed in me and that is honestly how I felt that's still that's how I still feel to this day that she was I'm getting emotional <laughs> that she was disappointed in me because I was never thin and I never was I just felt like she couldn't be proud of me so there were countless trips of that and then the holidays would come around and you know I would get a beautiful outfit I would be so excited I knew everyone everyone would be dressed up and I always wanted to feel and look as pretty as everybody else and I would get there and um, my grandmother would tell me things like, Gabriella, you would be so beautiful if you lost 50 pounds, or, you know, that dress would look so much nicer on you if you just dropped a little weight, or things like that. And then that kind of set the tone for the entire night. Like, I didn't want to eat in front of them, I didn't want to reach for food, I never wanted to eat anything that I, everybody else was eating. Like, I would always just grab, like, salad, and maybe a piece of chicken, and then I would eat half of my plate, and I would say that I was full. Was I full? No. Did I go home and eat? Absolutely. But was I going to eat in front of them? No. So let's fast forward to maybe fifth grade and I don't exactly know who thought it was a good idea but I was put on Weight Watchers and I was in, excuse me, I was in fourth grade and I was put on Weight Watchers and 
you know, from a very early age, I had this idea in my head that my body was wrong. Something was wrong with me. I had to change it. You know, I had to monitor my eating. I could never just eat and be okay. It always had to be how much of this are you eating? How many calories are in this? How many f grams of fat are you eating in, in your body? How many, you know what I mean? Like it was never just, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to eat this food and I'm not going to think about the consequence because from a very young age, my family had put into my mind that you need to lose weight. You need to lose weight. You need to be skinny. You need to be this. You need to be that. And it wasn't for health purposes. So I I'm very sorry if I'm like all over the place, but I'm trying to like gather my thoughts. I don't want to sound ridiculous, but I feel like I kind of repressed all these memories because they really hurt me. And I don't really think that anybody knew how badly they actually hurt me and how badly they de demolished any self-esteem that I ever had towards myself, towards my body. When I say my family, I kind of mean my grandmother and my extended family. My mom, God bless my mom. Thank God that I have the mother that I do because she always instilled in me that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you know, she always tried to bump up my self-esteem because my grandmother did the same thing to my mom growing up because my mom's plus size, she's not, you know what I'm saying? So my mom, thank God, thank God that I had someone in my corner saying, you know what, you're beautiful, the, be like, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you know, if you think you're beautiful, you are beautiful, basically. So... Eighth grade, I put on some weight. I wasn't happy about it. I was wearing hoodie sweatshirts every single day. I didn't put in a single ounce of effort into the way I looked. I wore my hair up. I wore hoodies every day, jeans. And this is really, really embarrassing, but I'm going to be completely real. There got to a point where my jeans didn't fit. And I was so embarrassed to tell my mom or to tell anybody that my jeans weren't fitting and that I needed to go shopping to buy a bigger size of clothing that I would just wear the clothes that didn't fit me and I would kind of hide that they didn't fit. So I remember my jeans wouldn't zipper. I got to a point where my jeans wouldn't zipper. So they would button but they wouldn't zipper. So I would wear really long shirts that would cover that and I would wear sweatshirts on top of that so you couldn't tell. So uncomfortable. I wanted to talk to you guys about it just because I feel like this is an issue that a lot of people have. It may not be with your family, it could be with friends, it could be with strangers, but fat shaming is a real thing and it is a thing that people deal with. Maybe three years ago, it was the summer before she passed. She had gotten sick, I think she had the flu or something, and at the time I wasn't working, so I was like, let me go down, I'll, I'll make sure she's okay, I'll make sure she's taking her medications, like everything she needs to get better, I'll make sure that, you know, her dinner is cooked, everything's prepared, I'll take care of her for a, quick, a few days. So, <clears throat> that was all fine and dandy, and I'm, I was 19. And at 19, I was confident. Like, and I started finding my confidence kind of junior year of high school, and maybe I'll make a separate video of that, but I started valuing myself, I started, you know what, this is my body, it is okay, this, this is me, it's who I've always been, I've accepted it, and moved on from the situation. So I've kind of become okay with myself at this point. So, my other cousin comes, he's a boy, he's my age, we were born in the same year, and he comes over, I can't remember what he was doing, but, and I don't think my Nana thought that I could hear her, but she was just telling him that she doesn't know how someone could do this to themselves, she doesn't know how someone could be this big and do this to themselves and be okay and why I wasn't trying to lose weight and why I wasn't and I was so unhealthy and she just didn't understand how I could be okay with myself. She said this to my cousin who was my age, who was a boy by the way, and I got exceptionally upset. Exceptionally upset. I was hysterically crying. I mean, I ran upstairs and I called my best friend and I was just crying to her because I didn't understand how someone that I love so much could say these hurtful things behind my back or even to my face about me and not think that there was anything wrong with that. She generally didn't, genuinely, genuinely, genuinely did not think that there was anything wrong with what she was saying to me or how she was saying it or what she was saying about me to other people. She didn't think there was anything wrong with it. She just thought that maybe her saying this would click in my head and make me 
want to lose weight and be skinny. And to be completely honest, all my life I think that did the complete opposite thing. My grandmother owned an estate sale and she would always pick out clothes for my cousins because the majority of the people's houses she would go to, I guess the clothes would be smaller, whatever, but she would always make it a point to say it in front of me like, oh, you know, I don't want to say my cousin's names, but oh, Sally, this is for you, you know, you're a size two, you can fit it. And she would look at me and say, there was nothing in your size, sorry. And it just, oh my god, it was like a, like a dagger, it was just like oh, a poker to my side. I don't know if I'm making any sense with this video. I, I'm probably all over the place and I apologize. I just kind of wanted to get my emotions out about this subject and about dealing with family who fat shames and dealing with people in general who fat shames. And the way I got over it was to just kind of, unfortunately, ignore it. I had to just let it roll off my shoulders, let it roll off my back. And I got to a certain age where I kind of just let it go. I just let it go. Anything she said to me, I just let it roll. So I want to give you guys a couple of words of inspiration if you are dealing with something like this in your family or if you're dealing with this from a loved one, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, I don't, if you're dealing with any of this from anybody, just know that you are beautiful and you are so worth it and you're, there's nothing wrong with your body. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your body if you are 500 pounds or if you are 100 pounds. Um, if you're healthy and you love the way you look, then you love the way you look and you rock it, you know? Nobody should ever make you feel so small and so disgusting and embarrassed of who you are and what your body looks like that you don't even want to eat in front of them. You will eventually come to a place in your life where you can say confidently that I'm beautiful, this is who I am, you either accept it or you don't. You know, that's just my attitude nowadays. Even if I go out and someone looks at me the wrong way, I'm like, hi, like, what do you, what's up? Because what are you really looking at, you know? Like, you can either accept my body or you don't. You don't have to stare at it. You don't have to make a comment about it. It's not your business. It is my business. I just want you guys to know that you're beautiful. You truly are. If you're a size 26, 28, 32, 34, or if you're a size two, four, six, you know what I mean? And no one on either ends of the spectrum has a right to make you feel any type of way about your body except yourself. You're not like anybody else. There is not one person in this entire world that is like you. And that in itself is a beautiful thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap up this video. I just wanted to maybe vent to you guys and you know, I don't think many people knew that about me. I don't think that Maybe even my family didn't know, you know, that that made me feel that way. So I kind of just wanted to make this video and vent it to anybody who wants to listen, anybody who can relate, anybody who has ever dealt with anything like that in your life. Please comment below if you have dealt with this or if this video made sense to you in any type of way. I really hope it did. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more story time videos like this, then thumbs up. I will talk to you guys soon. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope everyone's having a great day.